Okay, so let's go halfway down the page and let's draw a horizontal line, a base line. Okay, it's about three quarters of, of the page is where I've come down. I'm down about three quarters. Okay, next thing, let's draw a line coming from the edge of our page. Okay, we'll draw a line up and down vertically. Let's come over another bit. Let's draw a line down. Just one line. I'll zoom in there. that done. Let's now draw a line across the top here. Nice and lightly. On my next thing what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to angle my page like this. And I'm going to draw my receding lines. Here, here, here. Okay, let's move it back to where it was initially. She's there. Okay, let's come back roughly about this distance here and draw a line up. Take it back. There. Okay, so let's we want to draw a semicircle going around here now like this. Okay, so in order to draw the semicircle, we've got to mark, okay, the most extreme left point, which is here. Okay, we need to mark the top point of it, which would be roughly halfway between here and here. And then we need to mark the other point on the other side. So that means we are going to twist it again and draw a receding line going back this way to mark it on the far end, which is there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist my drawing. I'm going to draw a curve from here to here. Like that. Now I'm going to draw a different curve from here to here. But it goes out the corner and then it comes down. Last thing. So it's different compared to this one. This one is a flatter one. This one is a sharper one. So nice and light. First of all, when you're happy with it, you can go over heavy. So we need to do that now three more times. Okay? We need to do that three more times. And they have to be <coughs> they have to be light. Is that okay? This one is heavy, the next ones have to be light. So, let's draw a line, a baseline, heavy. And let's draw this whole section that we've just drawn here now at the back section here. So how we do that is, we translate this point back Translate this point back by drawing a horizontal line. Okay. 
and that's this point this point here seems to be slightly above that line so just with my pencil I'm just going to measure the distance okay the tip of the pencil to my fingers marks the length that's the length okay that's the length there then let's go to here and then let's just put down our finger here to mark that end which is there so I've got three points one two three I need to draw my curve now lightly is that okay before I draw my curve this line which is here or that the most extreme point on that curve I'm going to take that back draw like a, a tangent to it so from that point which is here the most extreme side on the curve bring it back straight line because that will be seen now let's twist our drawing make it easy on ourselves to draw this curve and before we start drawing just practice it practice the curve line up your hand okay in the best possible position do it lightly okay has to come back down here now and hit here so just do that one lightly okay like that all right so we don't need to draw this curve here it's not really being seen but we'll just draw it in broken detail but we'll just draw it in nice and lightly here take it straight down okay how to find that back corner should be a line back here same angle as all the rest of them like that okay should be directly across in that one Okay, so I'll just leave that there and I'll try and leave you draw that as best you can. I just need to use my rubber here to rub out this line because that's incorrect. Once you've got that done, that's that's the whole project nearly really done there. So this is an oblique drawing okay all my receding lines which are here 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 are at 45 degrees okay we can write that down here if we wish so I'm going to start drawing now in another minute so I'm going to give you one minute to get that done to get it perfected to rub out anything okay up to that stage Okay, all right. So our project is going to consist of essentially four pieces of wood. Four pieces of wood, structurally four pieces. The front piece, the back piece, the side piece here, and then the other side pieces. The whole thing is held together here using a finger joint. Okay, we can use a dovetail joint if we wish also, but we'll just go with a finger joint, okay, for now. So we need to give the front piece thickness. So I'm going to put this on its side like this, okay. And if you can just look up now, I'll, I'll give you time to do it. I step off roughly this thickness, and it has to be that thickness all the way okay, around my whole piece. So whatever thickness you think this is here, mark it off on this line, 
mark it off on that line mark it off on any line okay that may be used to mark your distances so there what you have is you have your points okay along that now let's start drawing So as you can see that's one piece and there's one line that I'm missing here now it's right here at the back and a lot of people forget it okay and if I just go in a bit closer to show you and focus my visualizer it's this line okay so if you can please draw that piece of wood which is the front piece of wood on your sketch now. If you've that finished, we need to do the exact same thing now with the back, okay? Also. So the front and the back piece the exact same. Same curve. So we know this is heavy. So we'll make that heavy. We also know that this whole curve is heavy at the back here. So I'm just going to twist it, which allows me to draw my curve. Okay, and we'll go heavy to there. Okay, so my next now is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give this a bit of thickness going all the way up around here like this. Okay. So what I might ask you to do is I might ask you to drop everything and just look up. Okay, and just pay attention to this. So the thickness that I've used here at the front, everyone, we now mark off again here, 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 any line I can get. Okay. So that's a straight curve going up here and then it's coming back down again okay so the thickness that I'm coming out here and here I'll also have to do the same here so this line that I'm after drawing down okay this is the back corner which is roughly here so we're just going to come out here out here out here and it should be joining up like that so I'm going to draw my curve and my straight line lightly before I draw it heavy. So I'm just going to turn it like this. So that's what we're roughly looking like. Okay. This will be a straight line from here to here. This will be dotted or broken, but look, we'll just leave it very lightly for now. That's a bit thin there, so we'll just rub that out, make it a bit more consistent. There. So now I can draw that heavy from here all the way back. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to draw a heavy line from here back there like that, because I'm actually taking the roof off. And I'm going to draw a heavy line from here to here also, because that's the side piece there. And I'm going to draw the rest heavy. Okay, so I'm going to be quiet now for the next two minutes. I'm going to leave you catch up on that.
<coughs> okay, so my side pieces. I now want to give my side pieces a bit of thickness because as it stands by now, they only look like a line here and a line here. Okay, I've given thickness to this piece and this piece. So in order to do this, all we're going to simply do is again twist the sheet. I'm going to connect this point to this point, okay, like this. Because that's what they should be like in real life. The thickness that I came out here, I'm now just going to measure it off roughly here. And I'm going to measure it roughly back here like that. Okay, bring it back and draw a heavy line going back this way. And a heavy line going back this way. And I'm going to drop this point straight down there. Okay. And then this is going to be heavy. Okay. If you want, you can just add a tiny, tiny, okay, bit of shading there. But essentially, that's what our project is going to consist of. Okay, all we're missing is the roof and the base piece. Okay? Okay, so let's attach on our base. Is that okay? Do you need another minute? You okay? All right. So our base piece, okay? Our base piece, we need, okay, the back of it to be completely flush because that's going to be going up against a tree or a wall, okay, of some sort. So what we're going to do, okay, is because it has to be flush, what we're going to do is we're going to bring a line out here and that's where the base is going to start, okay? So I'm just going to turn this to the side. I'm going to draw a nice straight line, not out too much, just roughly about that much, just a tiny bit of an overhang. And we'll bring a line down this way. Okay, this distance that I'm after stepping off here, let's do the same out here, which is roughly here. Now we'll have to draw a line through my 45. I'm just going to move the, the page at an angle. Draw my line lightly. Again, draw all your lines lightly. That looks good. We'll draw whatever we can heavy. Like that. And lastly, the distance that I stepped off here and out here, which is the same, I'm going to step out the same along this line here. So just step out here nice and lightly, which is roughly about here. And we'll draw a horizontal line back like that. So as you can see, that's the top surface of my base. I now need to give it thickness. <clears throat> so let's give it some thickness. Drop your lines down. three lines down. Not too thick. We'll draw a horizontal line here. And let's draw our receding line now, going back this way. So I'm leaving this sketch intentionally without the roof because it will show an awful lot more detail. Is that okay? I'm going to do a tiny little two-dimensional, okay, right beside it in a second. It'll take me very little time and that'll show the roof. Is that okay? So let's draw in the door, okay? Um, so let's, no, let's put in, I suppose, our, our little pole. So very simply, just roughly put your finger roughly here, or sorry, your pencil here. Okay, roughly there. Let's draw a little line out horizontally, like that. 
Then after that, let's just draw a little curve. Okay, a little circle, a little curve like that, kind of like a C. And then let's just take another horizontal line off that. Okay, let's finish that off with a tiny little circle there at the end. So that's a little pole, okay, that the little small, okay, bird will rest along, which could be, okay, our robin redbreast or our swallow. Okay, I'll zoom in there now. Okay, so let's draw a little center line right above that, nice and gently, nice and light, going up like that. And then let's draw our hole, okay, our little door, okay, for the bird to get in and out. So in order to do that, um, this point here, okay, that we've already got, which is this line and this line intersecting, we'll take that as 12 o'clock. Let's come down roughly here, uh, which is there. That's we'll say is six o'clock. Okay, so two points. Okay, on my circle. Halfway, which is there, we're going to draw a receding line. Okay, so I'm going to draw a receding line through that, which is at 45 degrees. So twist my page. Draw my receding line like that. Bring it back. The distance that I have from here to here, mark it off here and also back here. So you have 9, 12, 3, 6. Okay, I'll zoom in there now. So no, we're now we're going to draw the circle on the outer surface. So let's draw first of all, okay, 9 to 6. So let's draw that one like that. Then we do the opposite one, which is from 12 to 3. It's the exact same curve. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're now going to twist our page and help us to draw the other curves. So there. Turn the whole thing around again. And we'll have to draw that curve. I'm going to put that back. That is okay, my oblique circle. Alright? We need to show a tiny bit of thickness here, so let's come out. I say, we'll just say from this point here, we'll say it's what? Half four, which is here. I'm going to draw a little line, just horizontal line, roughly there. Take another line out, roughly there, just mark off my distances. So the same distance here, 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 and let's go here, roughly there like that. Let's draw a curve. Okay, and the curve is going to be going like this. Okay, there we go. And let's do a tiny bit of shading just there because it will be dark inside that door okay and we also dark inside that area okay so that's that done that is the project completed without the roof we're now just going to do a detail of the joints okay how these two sections okay can be how they can be connected So we have a load of room okay underneath. Uh, so why not maybe draw it down here? Okay, we can maybe do it here, and we can do maybe an, uh, just an uh, ele elevation here. Okay. So let's take down our arrow, just like that. Okay, and I'll go in a bit closer there. I'm just trying to see what way is the best way to draw this. Okay, so to use up this space effectively, let's draw okay, the joint going down this way and back that way. So from that point, which is here, okay, draw a line straight down, just off my arrow, just like that. 
Okay. Let's draw a line back at an angle. Uh, we'll say here, like that, just a slight angle. Is that right? Let's do the same from here. Again, a parallel line. So make sure those two lines are parallel. This one and this one are parallel. Okay. Once I've that done, let's draw an angle line going this way. Again, the two of them are parallel. The thickness of the wood now, which is here, we're going to draw another parallel line to this one. So just jump out your, your thickness, that's roughly there, one, two, three dots, just connect them up. There we go. And then let's do the same, okay, from here back. I think that point, okay, is our point that we're looking at. Let's just mark that off roughly there. That's what we're looking at. So I'll zoom in there now. Let's take this line down, nice and lightly. Let's extend this line, which is here, and take that down lightly. So within these two rectangles is where my finger joint is going to lie. So as you know yourself, every finger joint must consist of an odd number okay, of fingers. 3, 5, 7, 9. Let's go with 3 here just to make it nice and easy. So my height, which is here to here, divided into 3. So we have 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's roughly what we're looking at there. Now let's take my lines back at this angle, which I have here from this point and this point, nice and lightly, here and here. So all I need to do now is I just need to make, okay, my fingers heavy. So let's come down here. Let's come down here heavy. Let's go back here, here. While we're here, let's do a tiny bit of flame grain, okay, on that wood. So a parabola from here to here, a rough parabola. Again, don't rub out any of your your construction or any of your light lines. Okay, so that's our grain roughly done there. We'll just go one more here and another one here. <clears throat> Let's do the same thing, okay, on this piece of wood, which is the other one. So let's start our parabola roughly here and bring it back here. And then bring it back there. Here we go.
let's draw some lines so this is going to be heavy here let's draw some lines now okay leading off just like that and leading off here and here and here so I'm just going to zoom in I'm going to draw my annual rings next So my annual rings will be from here to here, nice and lightly, here to here, connecting up with the flame. Okay, and just with my it's okay, but just relax and have a look. Tiny bit of yellow, very, very light. And then to finish it off, we put some blue down on the base, and we're finished after that. Blue is nice because it just kind of highlights a bit of a base for us. Okay, and it gives okay our drawing a bit of perspective and a bit of realistic uh, um, imagery. Okay. So if we zoom out, that's my proposed drawing for that type of a project. Okay, which is there. And if I wish, I could possibly maybe have an elevation which is here. Okay, look in the direction. Okay, of this arrow. Okay, and that elevation, okay, would show, okay, my roof, okay, and this would be a two-dimensional view. So all in all, I have an oblique, I have an isometric view, which is here, and then I have a two-dimensional view. You're really having a nice variety of views, which is what you need to do, okay, when you're designing a project. Is that okay? Please excuse the